we constantly felt like we were not alone. No matter where you were at in the house, even if you were in the room by yourself, you just felt like something was watching you. Then one night, I was in the living room with my grandmother watching TV. Suddenly, loud shuffling could be heard through the wall, coming from my grandfather's old room. That room was kept locked and shut ever since his passing. My grandmother only went in there when she absolutely had to, and she was a nervous wreck the entire time, and I never knew why. As the noise continued to grow, we thought someone had broke in. She immediately picked up the phone and called my uncle, who was at our house minutes later. The noise continued the entire time until he walked to the front door. The sound had went away. He got the keys and moved toward my grandfather's old room. My grandmother and I followed behind him, terrified. He unlocked the door. We cautiously followed my uncle into the room. He turns on the lights. No one's there. He checked both windows. They were locked under the bed and in the closet, nothing. At the time, I didn't understand what was going on. I was actually relieved that no one was in the room. And as soon as I started to calm down, my grandmother changed that. Look at the shelves. She screamed. She points behind us. Look at the shelves. Then we saw it. Hundreds of figurines picked up one by one moved over and sat back down by something unknown and unseen. The slightest movement would have disturbed the dust and broken the ring. None of them were broken. Each one was moved over enough perfectly to show where it had previously been. Chills ran through my spine. I looked at my grandma who was still in shock and filled with terror. Then I turned to my uncle, hoping to gain some type of strength. I stared at his face, silence. His eyes scanned each shelf. One by one, we left the room. My uncle, the last one. I watched him look back before he turned the lights off. And he just stared in silence, still searching for answers, even though he knew he had none. He turned the light off, locked the door and shut it. Deep down inside, I knew this was only the beginning.